it's your boy Big Baby Miller here. Listen, we're knocking on all bums. First, it's going to be Dylan White. If it's going to be Joseph Pogba, but you know who got the story right? Mr. Boxing today. You check him out. He got all the latest news on the heavyweight division. And if you don't know me, you soon will. Because I'm kicking everybody. Please watch Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing. Heavyweight Boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, so according to SkySports.com, Manuel Char has tested positive for two anabolic steroids. He took a random test on August 24th, issued by VADA, and they found uh, drostanolone and epitrimbolone in his urine sample. Uh, he does have a right to appeal and get his B sample tested. Um, but right now, man, this just does not look good at all. Of course, he is denying it. I will leave a link to this story in the comment section. You can click it, read it, come to your own surmise about it, man. But he is denying it. He even went on to say that he's, you know, he eats at a lot of restaurants. So maybe something went wrong there. Uh, you know, like maybe, he, you know, he ate something that he didn't know had uh, these steroids in it. All right. So he is denying it. Um... So his fight with Freza Kendo is off. That fight was supposed to take place for that WBA regular title September 29th. So, you know, like uh, next weekend, you know what I mean? So that fight's off, man. This WBA regular title just has a black cloud over it, man. The last few years, Lucas Brown has had drug testing issues. Shannon Briggs have drug testing issues. And now Manuel Char, all right? And Freza Kendo, man, <laughs> let's just say uh, this, you know, this may go if this shit goes into next year with him not getting a shot at this uh, WBA regular title, that'd be going on five years. The dude was supposed to have a uh, his his rematch because he fought Chigaev. Then he had a, a a rematch ordered after he lost that fight to Chigaev in 2014 when they fought for the WBA regular title. Then he suffered a lot of injuries, and then some of the guys he was supposed to fight they end up having drug testing issues. Shannon Briggs and now Manuel Char. All right, so. I think what they need to do, I even heard Stacey McKinley on a uh, interview with the Boxing Voice a couple of days ago, and his fighter that he trains, Trevor Bryan, who is the WBA interim uh, title holder, he said that, well, he was talking about that he would like to see Bryan take on Manuel Char. In a situation like this, I, mean, I think the WBA should just make Trevor Bryan versus Fred Kendo and just, you know, have the, the, the interim title holder fight the WBA regular title holder, and we just take care of those two belts right there. You know, the WBA said that they're going to eradicate these uh, secondary titles at heavyweight, and they've yet to do it. It just seems as if they're just keeping them around. Um, it damn near seemed like at this point, just give Fresa Kendall the fucking title, right? Just let him have it. You know what I mean? Just let Fresa Kendall have the WBA regular. But I know that's not going to happen. It's not realistic. Um, so I'm thinking just have Trevor Bryan take on Fresa Kendall. She could make it for December. Fresa Kendall, uh, not Fred, but uh, not Fres, but um, Bryan fought. Uh, BJ Flores was it last month or something like that he took care of him easy work you know what I mean so shit why not just get him back in get him back in there in December if you can you can have the fight in Florida you know both guys are in Florida um but I'm not sure what the WBA is going to do man hopefully they don't uh you know hold this up and let this go on for months and months and months and months man just have somebody fucking fill in you know what I mean and uh Obviously, the fight still can't take place September because it was going to take place in, I believe, in Germany. Uh, I believe so. In, in Germany, it's going to be a big event for Manuel Char, and all that has went to waste as of right now. All right, so I don't know, man. As a you know, just as a fan, man, this shit has happened a lot, especially in the heavyweight division with these dudes failing these drug tests, man. So it's a shame. It's a shame, man. But um. I don't know, man. A lot of fans are saying, you know, I'm reading a lot of comments. A lot of fans saying that, yeah, man, they they thought something was up with Char uh, because they said that they seen a transformation in his body where he was carrying a little bit more pudge on him, you know, years ago. And now he's more muscular. Um, you know, so I'm reading comments from a lot of fans thinking that, you know, they're like, yeah, of course. You know, what I mean, of course he failed the test. Look at him. You know, what I mean, so. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section about this. I think it's bullshit. It's crazy. Of course, he's denying it, man. But it's just another just another setback. You know what I mean? But this shit happens a lot in the heavyweight division. 
Um, what do you guys think, man? How long should Manuel Char be banned? Should he be banned for a year, two years, three years? What do y'all think about that? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm gone.